Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is going to be part vlog, but also part very, very large home decor, homeware haul. So hopefully that's cool to you. So it's almost four o'clock now, so it's pretty late in the day and I just finished up doing a reel slash maybe TikTok of a H&M try on haul because I got a bunch of stuff this morning when I went shopping. Let's not waste any time. Let's just go do that. First off, how cute is this pride bag that I got at Ikea? It's square, so it's a different shape than their normal bags and I'm just so happy because it's like so, so massive. Obsessed. The cats are having a nap. Hopefully they stay asleep and I have a lot of random stuff to show you. I was not intending on doing a huge home decor overhaul the past two days. It just kind of happened. So I did place an order on H&M Home. I'll start with those items. And super, super exciting. I actually went to H&M Home this morning in the flesh because Vancouver has one at the Brentwood Mall just opened this morning. I had to drop my mom off. Okay, long story, sorry for the tangent, but basically I had to drop my mom off because she came to visit for a couple days and that was like halfway between where she was meeting her friend. Uh, anyway, it just so happened that it was the day that H&M Home was opening, the H&M there, and it is beautiful. And so I was one of the first people in there. I actually filmed a little bit when I first got in there when it wasn't too crowded. So you guys can see what it looks like. It's beautiful. And having a physical H&M store is just honestly so exciting because you guys know I love shopping online. They have the best stuff and not, like the most random amazing things like this tissue box. I was telling a girl in line that I bought this and it's like that's random but it's so cute and so yeah I was very excited and I actually only purchased one thing which I'll get into from the physical store but it's because I just purchased online so the three things I got online long story long uh, the first was a duvet cover set this is like the same color you guys can see that as the bedspread I have on right now however this one doesn't have any like texture to it if I could repurchase the one I have on my bed right now I absolutely would the only reason I'm replacing it right now is because there's holes in it it's starting to get a bunch of holes because we've had it I think almost four years now because we've lived in this apartment almost four years so it's getting very worn I haven't really switched it out and so I wanted something in the same color family this is really 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 close this one pulls a little bit more purple but comes with the queen duvet cover and then the two pillows so pick that up and then I also wanted to kind of revamp our bed a little bit I love the way it is but I kind of just want to add more pillows and make it look a little bit more hotel like and of course as soon as I say more pillows Cody's like do we really need more pillows the answer is always yes so I got these king size pillowcases these ones are kind of more like a beigey linen I already took them out of the package but these are king size and I think that they're gonna go really well with like the tones because we have a lot of wicker in our bedroom and so I got two of those we'll see how that goes it's gonna be a lot of pillows on our bed and then I also got a new shower curtain because I've had the dotted shower curtain for quite a while that one's from Target in my bathroom and I just kind of wanted to switch it up they did out <laughs> they did have these actually in store a couple different patterns but they had this like waffle knit in a white along with this like taupe it pulls a little bit more gray than beige i think it actually might be taupe or beige i don't know what they called it online but yeah got a new shower curtain my mom actually brought these down with her it's a set of new towels which is really exciting because the ones that i have that are gray and purple right now have like yellow splotches on them from being bleached out from my face wash my benzogel and i just feel like i've always been hesitant to buy white towels but if she purchased them that's kind of like you know might as well try it i can bleach them and i like these ones because they're not just plain white they actually have like a little bit of a like chevron texture to them so she bought us four of them and they are apparently are really absorbent so that's really good i think she found them at superstore now getting into the big bag from ikea first thing i got were some storage boxes i'm sure you guys have all seen these i use these in our bed like underneath in the drawers to organize things and i wanted to pick up another pack to organize my dance costumes because right now they're just like thrown in everywhere and full of cat hair and it's just like really gross so hopefully this will keep them organized next item i got was this jar and i was looking for something to keep my epsom salt in because i just have it in the bag right now and as cute as the walmart bag is it isn't and so i saw these jars with lids and i thought it would be perfect then my mom spotted this one and i really liked how it was a little bit taller would take up less room and so i grabbed this one put it in the cart we took it up to cash and she actually said that this was the display one and so she tried to call to get someone to bring another one had no answer and so she just gave me this one which was really really sweet so shout out to her i'm very excited to have that in my bathroom i got a pack of these candlesticks they're unscented which i was kind of hoping i could find something scented but they are just plain white and they come in a pack of 20 
because I recently purchased these little candlesticks from Etsy and I burned these last night to try and test them out and it's so cool because they've kind of burnt inward. I don't know if you guys can see that and instead of like dripping down the side they kind of just like cave in um and yeah they fit really well they looked really cool a little bit scary around the cats and their tails but um i'm set for life with a pack of 20. so obviously knowing that i had those two king size pillowcases to fill i didn't have any king size pillows so i purchased two these ones i think were like 16.99 and then i also purchased a new pillow for myself because mine was getting a little bit old i don't remember the name but these are what the king size pillows are called very cute also random thought um i found a piece of furniture like kind of like a bar cabinet s bookshelf type thing and i'm very curious which color you guys like because they only come in these two colors and i was really really considering it to replace kind of this area with our blu-rays hopefully if you've seen the vlogs you guys kind of know what i'm talking about in this corner here but we also have a very open bar cart and i thought that maybe getting something like this would be kind of cool to tuck it away but also have like our bar cart kind of on display behind glass i know i'd love your opinion on the colors so let me know which i'll have them on the screen but yeah let me know what color you like and speaking of bar carts the last two things i got from ikea were champagne cubes very plain very simple i only got two because we don't really have a ton of space but there are some cocktails that i like to make that i feel would fit better into this kind of cup the aesthetic you know i just thought they were really pretty and a good size and i think they were like two bucks each so got two of those we did also end up popping into home sense and i got really lucky because i have been looking for bedside lamps for a while to upgrade ours ours are just like basic ikea ones and i wanted something that would like fit the room a bit better and i feel like lamps are one of those like really hard things to find cute i don't know i feel like i really lucked out with these and so i did purchase two i already have one in our bedroom but i wanted to keep this one kind of intact to show you guys so yeah they're from home sense they were $50 and I just think they're so cute. The black matches our handles on our nightstands. Uh, hopefully I can replace those at one point, but, or at some point, but I don't have any plans to do that. So yeah, I think this will match nicely. And then the wicker matches kind of the rest of the vibe of our bedroom. Also too, I have like a wicker plant stand in the corner, so it matches that perfectly. The light bulbs I have in it are very bright though, since this is like very see-through, it's very bright. It's not very diffused. So I'm gonna have to buy the frosted uh, light bulbs for this, but very cute really happy with that purchase i think they're kind of unique and definitely fit the vibe of our room instead of like plain silver lamps so that was a good find pretty happy about that and then i guess i'll quickly show you guys what i picked up at h&m this morning so like i said went to h&m home and i purchased one thing it was this it's a cake cutter it was just really pretty i think it was like i don't know 10 bucks so i got that that's all I got because I had just placed that order for all of the home stuff and I don't know, I didn't really need much home decor other than the few things I got, but I did do a lot of damage in their clothing department. So I got this tank top, the first one. It's very long. I'm not gonna do a try on for this because I did do the reel. Hopefully it turns out and you guys will see that on my Instagram or TikTok, but go check that out to see what they look like on me. I did get these shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna size down in these. Uh, they have like a fake zipper like there is nothing here it's all just paper bag waist i got these in a large and they were like 15 bucks and they're very comfy and i feel like i could have sized down but i also like how oversized they are because they make them super super comfy so yeah i really really enjoyed those and i kind of got rid of all of my shorts that were like that because they were just too tight and I don't really have time for things that are making me feel uncomfortable. I love these shoes. They are so cute. I feel like I have been wanting a pair kind of like this, a little bit dressier, but still really comfy for like dinners out and things like that drinks with friends, you know, normal life things. And I love this. I originally tried on a pair that was like just the braided strap, just one, and then a little kitten heel and they were cute, but the kitten heel was a little bit rocky. And so I feel like this is a little bit more stable. They also had a version that had a higher heel, but I feel like these are just a good in between. They're very, very comfortable. And they also came in white. So really happy with those. Thought about getting the white, but I feel like the black I can wear all year round. So that's why I went with those ones. And then this was a last minute thing. I saw this in the bathing suit section and it's a one-piece bathing suit i just thought it was really cool mainly for a dance costume don't really know when or what that'll be but it's kind of like a little sectioned off two-piece thing with this big elastic really hard to show you but it was really comfy i think it's like 40 bucks got a size medium and it fits pretty well and yeah i just love the color it's so fun 
Not gonna give you the greatest tan lines, but it's fun. I had been looking for this set for quite a while and they had both pieces in stock. And so I grabbed two, however, I wish I sized down because I got these home and they were too, too big. I was really torn. Um, I just, I'm really bad with like choosing my size and change rooms were closed. So I ended up with a medium large and it, yeah, it's way too big. So I definitely should have sized down in the skirt. It's very, very cute though. It comes as like a two piece set. So this is like the long, long linen skirt. And then this is the little crop top to go with it. I got this in a medium large. It was like extra small, small or medium large. There wasn't really in between, which is like kind of annoying. And the small looked too small, but then this looked too big. Very confusing, but anyway, yeah, this is too big as well. So I'm going to be definitely returning those. Unsure if I'm going to try and repurchase my correct size. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> I also picked up this same tank top in black. I believe these were 10 bucks, but they are such good quality. Like they're very thick. And like I said, they're super long. So if you don't like a cropped shirt, then this is definitely a good option. Just like nice basics for the summer. And then I've been wanting a button down, an oversized button down with like a pinstripe and this one's just really nice and blue. I think it was 20 bucks. And I got this in an extra, extra large cause I looked at the like medium and it was really tight. So I went with an extra large or extra, extra large and I could have gotten an extra large, but I think this is good and I'll just toss it in the dryer as well and not worry about it. But I thought over bathing suits and like even with this outfit I'm wearing today, light wash denim and yeah, I thought it would be cute. So that's what I picked up from all of these places. Yeah, I haven't done a haul like this in a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think now I'm gonna toss the pillowcases, duvet cover, get that all in the wash and dryer so we can do a little room makeover as a part of this video too. Here's a look at our current bedroom situation. So as I said, we have this bedspread that has a bit of texture, which I love, but it's just starting to get a few holes in it like this and like along the seam. I don't know. That's the problem with having cats. So I'm gonna replace that. Keep the yellow pillow, keep the front pillow. Yellow pillows are from Ikea or the covers. That pillow is from Target, I believe. And then this blanket is also from Target. I do also currently have our winter sheets on the bed, so they're a lot cozier, so I'll probably swap those out when I remake the bed. And as you guys can see, those are our old lamps, just the really basic ones from Ikea. Although I will say that they have those ones in a gold base now, which I would prefer, but I got those years and years ago, like even when we were living in our last place, I'm pretty sure. So this is what the new lamp looks like. I think it looks really good with the knobs or the poles on the nightstand and yeah. I'm excited to kind of revamp this space a little bit. Cody's home from work now. I washed the duvet cover and we're gonna do the little duvet rolly hack thing. If you haven't seen my viral TikTok, go check it out there. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the <sighs> this is something next time you buy to make sure you look out for like the bigger the opening the easier it is to do this trick I, you can't tell you can't open it and know online no one no one tells you the opening hole size well that's what you should put in the review it's just too small a hole hole too tight average size <laughs> Alright, so it's a while later we made the bed as you guys saw in the last two clips I'm not so sure about the beige color just because we have white pillows and then the white blanket So let me know your thoughts on that. I probably should have just gotten a white pillowcase, but Yeah, figuring out the pillow situation is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be um, So I think this is where it's gonna have to be for now. Maybe I'll find another better solution later on but this is good enough for now it kind of adds the fullness that I wanted while still being decorative but yeah the beige color is just I don't know 
it's a little too yellow tone for the rest of the thing that's happening here. So I might exchange those or go pick up a white pair. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> this video has been long enough, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the home decor haul, the clothing haul, and then the little like vlog of me putting the bed, Cody and I putting the bed together. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.